It's Saturday night right now. I came back from my sister's yesterday and I had loads of laundry to do. So I did that today along with other things and now I'm trying to spend my free time at night putting all this pile away. And yes, I do realize that it probably doesn't make sense to put my clean clothes on the floor, but that's where they are right now. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing is leaving them here and it's fine. I clean my carpet enough and I'm like the only one who walks on this. So my carpet's clean, my floor is clean, totally fine. So anyways, I figured that you guys can hang out with me while I do this because otherwise I would just be sitting here watching Caleb Hammer's financial audit, which is not a terrible thing, but sometimes it gives me anxiety because he can be like a little intense. If you don't know who that is, check him out. He's on YouTube. Um, he's basically what I watch when I need to remind myself not to buy stupid shit. Yeah, my plan right now is to fold, hang up all my clothes and then I do want to do like little things such as fix my toenails and the paint on them because they're not looking too good right now. And like, I just got my nails done. So now my feet need to kind of match that and it's just not cute right now. So I'm going to do that and a couple, oops, somebody texted me, my mom couple other things that I also want to get done too so I'll just have you guys hang out with me and do that. I know I've kind of just been ah oh I forgot the spinach and my butternut squash damn and I bought it too darn it oh well next time um so I know that I haven't been posting as often as I usually do which if you watch my channel or if you follow me you would have seen that I normally would post every single day, but things have been a little bit crazy with work. I, if you don't know this, I'm a recruiter full time. I do work from home, but I recently helped to staff a convention that was at the Philadelphia Convention Center and that took so much of my time and I was staying there on site um, at the convention center so that I can help to staff that. So kind of put like a little delay in my video making. For dinner I made this butternut squash that I showed in the beginning of this video and I got the recipe from Wegmans so it's butternut squash, goat cheese, shallots, cranberries like dried cranberries, a little bit of olive oil and rosemary and then you bake it all but um, it's all supposed to have spinach and I forgot to put the spinach so my mom and my sister are texting me about the fact that I forgot the spinach. And that's what my Saturday night is looking like right now. <laughs> but that's okay. Things have been, like I said, hectic recently. So having a free weekend, having a chill, relaxing Saturday is really, really needed and wanted. So this is kind of the perfect example of what I would like to be doing on a typical Saturday night. Although sometimes I do like to go out lately, I've just been a little bit more interested in socializing, which is a very out of the norm character for me, but I'm embracing it. I'm sure once it gets freezing again, I'm not going to want to be doing that anymore. I call this time of year my hibernation time. So this is usually when I will hole up in my house and not really go anywhere or if I do it'll just be like before the sun sets. Um, I am actually technically like a fall and more like cold weather person but when it gets dark really early here in New Jersey it's pretty depressing and all I really want to do is just sit in my bed, sit in my house. I love watching Hallmark movies I feel like I should hang this up in my main hanger. I love watching Hallmark Christmas movies specifically. So I'm really looking forward to 
having a Hallmark Christmas movie that I haven't seen yet because I've seen like all of them and just eating some yummy delicious cozy food even though I am trying to be a little bit more um, aware of what I'm putting into my body trying to eat less processed foods trying not to order out so much right now definitely trying to budget more but you know every once in a while we can splurge I am eventually soon going to be getting a microphone so videos like this you'll probably be able to hear me a lot clearer but right now it's just gonna sound a little bit more distant and hopefully that's okay I don't typically do long-form content like this but I want to definitely start to have like hang with me Saturday night type of things ones that are a little bit less edited raw footage just like true me situations because I know I normally do YouTube shorts and um, while that's fun I feel like it doesn't really get a good glimpse of I guess like my life on a day-to-day -day basis do you see this my cat hair has like spawned onto my shirt anyways yeah it's really hard to get a lot of the footage that I'm trying to get into when YouTube Shorts requires a video to be under a minute. It's a little easier when we're, um, when I'm posting on TikTok and Instagram because it doesn't have that one minute restriction. So I always have to cut things down for YouTube and I sometimes think that I end up missing like essential information that I normally would want to put, but I have to keep it under that 60 seconds, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So yeah, that's why I've decided to do this and I'm gonna try to edit it as little as possible. Hopefully this isn't too boring for you guys, um, but it's fun for me because I usually by myself, so I don't think that I would be like sitting here talking to anybody um, if I was not talking to you guys, so yay, thanks. Thank you for hanging with me today. Let me go get some more hangers. There's cat hair literally all over my stuff. But I'm like, I'm too lazy to like roll it. So, oh well. I went and looked at the video and realized that my head was cut off that whole time, so whoops. Oh well. And this is actually kind of dumb that I'm doing this right now, technically, because one of my plans for Saturday night was to try on a bunch of my clothes and see if they still fit me, because a lot of my clothes don't fit me anymore, which is such an issue. Um, so it's like a lot of it is going to end up back in this spot again. But no, I'm going to be good at like trying it on, hanging it back up again. That's what. I'm gonna force myself to do that. I can't just throw it on the ground. Last week I was trying on a pair of my pants that it was like my favorite pair of pants for so long. And so I put it on and it split. I split my pants, which is a really bad sign. So I need to legitimately think about what I'm eating, <laughs> at least for the time being. Until I get to like a good place again, I guess. And yes, I am drinking coffee. It's like seven o'clock at night and that is me. I drink coffee 24 seven. It does not keep me from falling asleep. I will fall asleep in an instant. I just love the taste of it. It is what it is. If this doesn't get too long, maybe you guys can sit with me while I try on all of my, well, some of my, at least my pants. I'm gonna try my pants on See what still fits me because I think that's where I have most of the issues. Why are you barking? I really don't know what you need. I really don't. I've had Sabrina Carpenter's taste stuck in my head all day, even though I played it. And that usually helps to get it out of my head again, but it didn't work. So I think I just need to play it on repeat later until I get sick of it. And then hopefully at that point, it will no longer be stuck in my head. This needs to be hung up. Although this is one that 
Well, this one I just wore. I know this one fits me because I just wore it this weekend, so I don't need to try this one on. I need to put it in a special place to know that it does indeed fit me. just from not being home that things like that just don't happen but when I'm actually packing it's like I think that I'm gonna do those things and it never ever ever happens I'm gonna make sure everything is out of this bag and then we're gonna squish it up oh hi you've come back I'm not going anywhere I'm putting this away you don't have to worry about it see it's gone Eagle sweatpants most definitely do not fit me, so it just sucks because it came in a set from TJ Maxx and the top fits me, but the sweatpants don't. So I guess I'm gonna like try to sell it or donate it or something. We're making progress. This is what we're looking like so far. Things are getting a little bit cleaner. Just gotta do that over there. And I need to find I need to find a better place to put this thing because where I had it, I don't like it there, so could actually technically put it in this basket. I might do that right now. This is all my carry case stuff, my makeup bags, travel, cubes. And I think this actually fits so perfectly. Now when I need them, I can just grab them from right here instead of the high up shelf that I had it before. We'll just squish all this together. Another cat hair. And now I have a free basket for something, so I'll just put it right here for now. I also wanted to move this hat rack over here on the back of the door, the front of the door. Man, can't talk. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let's see if it lets me move it. Stay. Okay. That's a lot better. I'm gonna do it with this guy. It's down here. This still opens and closes, so we are good. Yay! And it like kind of looks cool. And now I can actually leave this door open. I'm just gonna organize some of this stuff now that needs to go downstairs and in different rooms. Bowls, towels. Coffee cup. 
I don't want my coffee to end. Do I make another one? I don't know. Mmm. Okay. Forgot to grab it. Okay, I'm gonna try on my jeans now. See, I think I'm only gonna do my jeans. I'm not gonna do my tops today. Especially because I think I went through them recently. I'm only gonna try on my jeans to make sure that they still fit me. Apparently my butt is getting larger. So let's do that now. This is the pair that I bought recently from Plato's Closet. I try to thrift my jeans as much as possible because A, jeans are expensive and B, style changes so often. I feel like I never really want to wear the same kind of jeans all the time. I don't know. Okay. I feel like this is fine. I like this. It's not, not too tight on me, loose enough. I can like bend down, which is important. Pet the pup. So I think these are gonna be a keeper. Definite keeper. Okay, this is one that I swear fit me not that long ago, but it's so tight here. And as you can see, it doesn't button. Literally, I feel like I bought this maybe two months ago. That's annoying, but I guess I'll try to sell these back. Womp. These are a little risque, but I freaking love them and they still fit me. Yay. So yeah, they're a little lower, but these are so cute. I've only had the chance to wear them a few times in life. And I want to have another chance to wear it because, I don't know, you know, it's cute. I don't care if it's a little slutty. We're allowed to have, like, at least one pair of slutty pants, all right? I'm allowing that. This is a keep. Every time I try this on, uh, before I try it on, I should say, I always am like, eh, get rid of that, you don't wear it. But then I put it on and I'm like, oh, yeah. This is so soft and like comfortable, but it kind of looks like pajamas. I don't know. Do I keep it? Do I not keep it? What would this go with? Where could I wear this to? I do want to make it work somehow. This is also a pair that I bought recently from Plato's Closet when I was like feeling very large. So they're a little big on me. I don't know how flattering they are. I feel like everybody needs a pair of baggy pants though that are not flattering. So these could just be like my, I don't want tight jeans, jeans. Not ones that I reach for all the time, but they're there when I need them. What do you think? Let me know. These are skinny jeans, and I know that's like chuggy now or whatever, but I feel like they fit me nicely. They're comfortable. It does have this little tear under the butt that I like. It's not like it's, it doesn't show my butt. It's like under butt, shorts wise, like shorts length maybe. I think it's cute. I'm going to keep it. I am a millennial. I feel like I deserve a pair of skinny jeans, right? These used to be my large pants and now they fit me kind of snug. Ugh. I'm not that into them, not into the rips that much, but they fit me. They're not awful looking. They are skinny jeans. They're kind of summerish. I got them from stitch fix or something like that I'm probably just gonna keep it <sighs> they fit that's important that they fit I can wear this to like out to coffee with friends I feel like this is also a pair that used to be very loose on me but it looks really good now 
it's definitely like a daytime pant, but I think it works. I need opinions. If you're like, if you're watching and you feel like you want to like give your input on these jeans, please let me know because I'm not the most fashionable or like in touch with the fashion trends currently. So I need to know if I'm on the right path here. Okay, I'm going to start going through these a little bit faster. This I'm going to keep. These are my leather, well, fake leather, dominatrix pants <laughs> that I wore once, maybe twice. Will I bring them back for winter? I mean, they're definitely warm. I'm not getting rid of them. I will make it work. I will make it work. Sadly, I think these have to go. I cannot really breathe very well in them. Ugh. Oh, I definitely can't bend. Keep. I think this will be a keep. Ugh. A little too tight though. Maybe not. Go down. Sit in this. Not easily, but I like this. Maybe I'll save this for summer clothes and see if they fit me better by then. Keep. I don't think I had the chance to wear this even once, but I like it. I kind of feel like my butt is going to fall out. But I feel like I can, I feel like I can make it work. And this is the last one. This is going to be a keep. These are the three that I have to get rid of or sell to Plato's Closet. Not too bad. Keeping a whole bunch, so I'm more than good. I don't need to go shopping for any. And I'm going to call it quits now. I feel like it's time for me to retire to my bed. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with me on this Saturday night. I appreciate you watching. And hopefully I'll be able to do more of these.